Welcome to African Gardening. Today, I'm going to be showing you what happens after you pollinate a sour soap flower. A whole lot of people are confused. You know, many people expect that immediately you pollinate the sour soap flowers, you will start seeing fruits. But that's not the case. So, in this video, you're going to see what happens after you pollinate uh, a sour soap flower. So, here, we have just pollinated four flowers and these flowers the first thing that will happen after pollination within 48 hours of being pollinated they will turn into male flowers that means they will release pollens now whether a flower is pollinated or not it will always transform to the male stage where it will now release pollens that can be used to pollinate all the flowers so this is flower number one that we pollinated so within the next 48 hours it should turn into a male this is flower number two and number three and within the next 48 hours it should turn into a male and release pollens so we're gonna be seeing what happens immediately after pollination like I said once the flower is in a female stage and it's ready to receive pollens within 48 hours whether it's pollinated or not it will release pollens it will turn into a male and the pollens will be used or can be used to pollinate other female flowers so this is the third one let's go and look at the fourth one all right so this is flower number four uh it's higher up i have to use a ladder to get up to here it's 24 hours after we have uh, pollinated the flowers at the female stage and remember i said whether a flower is pollinated or not the moment it is ready to receive pollens within 48 hours from the moment it's ready to receive pollens it will transform to the male stage whereby it will release pollens so let's go and check out the flowers and see whether they have released pollens or not all right so the first thing we do is to check at the bottom where uh the bottom of where the flower is located and see whether we can see petals so i can see some outer petals and inner petals so sarsop flowers they have uh, three outer petals and uh, three inner petals so right here i can see three outer petals and two inner petals which means one petal must still be attached to the flower so let's go up let's go up all right there we go so like i predicted I can see another petal that's the inner petal that's still attached but it has already released the pollens so this flower now has released pollens let's go around it let's see so we can see better wow so like I predicted so within 20 48 hours this flower is already male now so the flower is male so the first thing that happens after pollination is that the flower which was female will turn to a male and release pollens so we can see the pollens there and uh, the outer uh, the inner petal is still attached of course uh, it will fall off uh, so at this moment uh, at this stage you need to gather the pollens so that you can use these pollens to pollinate other flowers so let's go and check out the other flowers too and see uh, if they have released a uh, 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 pollens so let's go all right all right so aha uh -huh. so this is the second and the third flower they have already released pollens uh, the one on the left a lot of the pollens has already fallen down uh, the one on the right uh, the pollens are still there and like I said uh, if you go down again you can see see the petals the petals are there you can see the outer petals uh, you can see part of the inner petals as well so that's a sign for you to know that the flower has released pollens and it is now in the male stage so like I said you need to look at the ground on the where the flowers were uh, when they were still female and then once you see the petals just look up and then uh, 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 you can see we're still going to remove all the spoilings uh, so that we can pollinate uh, other flowers so you can see them 
look carefully, look closely. You can see the pollens. You can see the pollens here. So the pollen tubes are the brown stuff. The pollens are actually uh, the yellow things on, you know, the pollen tubes. All right, so uh -huh, I've increased the magnification now. Now you can see clearly. You can see the pollens. The pollens are the yellow, uh, uh, grain-like uh, objects. Uh, the brown stuff are the pollen tubes. So pollens are attached to pollen tubes. So don't make the mistake of uh, uh, using the pollen tubes as uh, pollens. Uh, and that's why you need to have a brush because the brush will remove the pollens from the pollen tubes and then you can use it for pollination. So let's go and check uh, the, the fourth uh, flower. Let's see if it's just turned into a male. So on the ground here, I can't find any petals, which simply means uh, the fourth flower has not turned into a male. It has not released pollens. It has not released pollens. So let's go and look at the flower itself. We just go up. All right, let's go up and look at the flower. All right, so that flower, the fourth flower is still intact. It's still a female. Uh, but I can tell you by tomorrow, which will be 48 hours, uh, it would have released pollens. It would have released pollens. You can notice, you can notice a, a bunch of other flowers that are already pollinated and they are in the quiescent period. Uh, I'm going to talk about the quiescent period next so that people understand uh, what it means. So this is the fourth flower. It is still uh, a female and uh, by tomorrow it will be a male. It will have released pollens. All right, so as you can see, uh, the flowers, they've already turned into a male. And in the male stage, that's when they release pollens. So the next thing you're going to do is to gather this pollen so that you will be able to uh, pollinate uh, all the flowers. Let's remove all these uh, pollens and store our pollens. Yeah, it's good to store the pollens so that we can use it for other uh, pollination. All right, so I have my brush here. So for me... If I want to uh, gather pollens and use them immediately, I use this side of the brush. Why? It will be covered with pollens. But right now, I'm not pollinating any other flower. So what I'm going to do, I will use the bottom end. So this is the bottom end. I don't want uh, to lose pollens, which I will not use. So I've already taken some earlier on. So here, I have this one here. So that's it. So you can see that. So I've gathered the pollens. So you can see lots of pollinated flowers here. Uh, there are about eight of them. So we had six earlier. So this is uh, another two, making eight on this bunch. So what happens now is that all this will turn into fruits, but they will turn into fruits at different times, at different times. Of course, I'm gonna be recording videos to show you uh, the progress of the different flowers. So let's take from the third one. So we're going to take pollens from the third one. All right. So we're going to take the pollens from this was the third one. So that's it. So you can see the inner petal fell off. The inner petal fell off. And uh, so that's it. So look at this. This one is already in the quiescent period. It's the dormancy period.